Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a recipe to share with you today. We are making homemade granola. Now the recipe that follows is enough to fill a 64 ounce mason jar. So for this recipe, you'll need two cups of raisins. Now you can omit this during the baking process and just add them at the end, but I have a trick for you so that you don't burn your raisins. To this, I'm going to add one third to about one half cup of honey. And we're also going to add our coconut oil at this time, anywhere from a half cup to three quarters of a cup. I did warm it up so that it would be liquid. So now I wanna coat all of those raisins with that mixture. And then to that, we're going to add two cups of almond meal. Now this is going to coat over the raisins and this is going to protect them during the baking process because the raisins are really easy to overbake and burn and totally ruin an entire batch of granola. So now it's time to add the rest of our ingredients. We need three cups of oats. I am using organic oats and also a half cup of sliced almonds and a half cup of pecan pieces. But at this point, you can add anything else that you would like. All right, so the last thing that we need is some seasoning and I am going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon, but at this point you could add more or less if you'd like or any other kind of seasoning to this mix and you can make it seasonal as well if you'd like. Now it's time to give it a thorough mix and make sure that all of those ingredients are well mixed and that that oil has coated everything. It's a little bit dry here, so I think maybe a quarter cup more of coconut oil would have been a better choice at this point. I'm going to spread it out on my tray and now it's time to bake. Now this is going to be something you need to watch to make sure that you don't overcook those raisins. I'm going to start with 10 minutes at 350 degrees. So 10 minutes later, the mixture looks really good. I am going to mix it and turn it over, but you actually don't need to unless you notice that things are getting overcooked. My raisins were really nicely coated with the almond meal, so I actually disturbed it by mixing it and that ends up being a mistake at the end, but the whole batch is still salvaged, don't worry. So I'm gonna stick it back in here for another 10 minutes, but I recommend that you do it in five minute increments just to make sure that you don't burn the raisins. If you'd rather, you can omit those raisins and just put them in at the very end. So you can see that the ones that were exposed got a little bit overcooked, but they were still chewy and nothing was burnt. So now you want to let it cool completely before you transfer it to an airtight container. And when it was completely cooled down, I went ahead and I transferred it to my 64 ounce mason jar using a wide mouth funnel. Okay, it's time to seal that. And I went ahead and I labeled it just so that I know when I made this and how long I have to eat it. And honestly, I've never had granola go bad because we've always eaten it before it has gone bad. All right, so I usually like my granola over some yogurt and fruit. So I'm gonna go ahead and top a few tablespoons of yogurt with this fresh made granola, as well as some fresh fruit, and it makes a great healthy snack or a great breakfast or really a great meal any time of day. So I go ahead and I store my granola as well as all my other raw ingredients in mason jars in my cabinet in my kitchen. All right, so if you want the complete recipe, don't forget to check the description box below. If you want to see some of my other cooking tutorials, go ahead and tap on the screen right now. If you want to see what we're eating on a daily basis, don't forget that you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.